All right, I recently purchased a copy of this book here by Jack Hiles. All right, there he is. And uh, reading, I'm reading through it right now just to see the foundation for this phony quick prayers and easy believism thing. And because Jack Hiles was the real salesman behind the whole deal. And on page 28, he says, I went to visit a family, let's call the name Hill. It was up on the second floor of an apartment building. They had three lovely children. I walked in and said, how do you do, Mr. Hill? Are you a Christian? Oh, yes, he said. I was saved when I was three years old. Childhood conversion. Well, I didn't want, I didn't know what to say. Then I asked Mrs. Hill, are you a Christian? Oh, yes, she said. I was saved when I was a baby. And he goes on over the next couple pages here to talk about how he doesn't believe for one minute that they're actually saved. Let me show you the, the thing here. Try to get that. It's kind of hard to... I'll see if I can do that there. Okay, goes down through. Okay, page 28. And I'll be showing this in better detail in the future. But he takes them through and he keeps trying to corner them because he's saying they're not truly, truly saved. They're false converts. Jack Hiles, the guy that preaches against repentance. I'll be talking about the repentance blacklist thing here in a minute. But uh, here on page 30, right at the top, he says, um, he tells me he wants to pray a prayer of dedication, he calls it, for their home because that's all he could get through to them. And he says, I said, Mr. Hill, this is the prayer to pray. Dear Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner, and forgive my sins and save my soul. I do now repent of my sins and trust Jesus to save me. Jack Hiles, right there, telling a false convert to repent of his sins. And I know people that listen to Hiles, they'll say, well, that means turn from unbelief to belief. You don't say sins when you're talking about unbelief. To belief. You say, what's the deal? Well, uh, the deal is that uh, this man here is a hypocrite. Okay? Right there. Hypocrite. On one hand, he'll say, repentance of sin is work salvation. You don't have to repent of sins. That's heresy. But then when he writes a book to get it out to fundamental Christians, then, uh, oh, you have to repent of sins. Tell somebody, lead them in a prayer and tell them, they, you know, I do now repent of my sins. Interesting, but you see years ago. There was this thing repentance blacklist. This is back. Uh, here's my video on it. Um, this is back 2017 So a little over two years ago. I made this video January 2nd 2017 and uh, I go through the thing here and um, I show how that uh, I'm included right there Brian Denlinger by special request and I did request to be on the thing and so I was going to you know, make this video and show that, hey, actually, and they promote Jack Hiles on this website. And I was going to show that you need to put Jack Hiles on the repentance blacklist, you know, and as a certain son of Belial, <laughs> um, because he teaches from his book, the, the writing of Jack Hiles, that you have to repent of sins right there. He's a hypocrite. So I went and I found this video here and I thought, what was the name of that thing there in repentance blacklist? Was it .org or .com? Well, .com. So I typed it in, .com, and it says, Access Denied. Okay, so I just did a Google search for Repentance Blacklist. And here's the website. All these different links to it. One, two, three, four, five, six different links to Repentance Blacklist. And you click on any of them, Access Denied. And I'm not going to go down through, but you, you do that, and all the different things are Access Denied. To this website. Hmm. So I'd like some of you out there type in repentanceblacklist.com and see if you can get into it. I'd be curious about that. Um, and if you do, uh, or if you're one of Anderson's followers, uh, make sure that he adds Jack Hiles to his list of uh, certain sons of Belial. Because Jack Hiles, in his own book, says you need to repent of sins. Leads a guy in a prayer that he believes is a false convert. And says, repent of your sins. I do now repent of my sins. What a bunch of hypocrites.